Texas on facing the assault on our defense. Do you want me to read this? Because I know he loves it. Please, I, I'm, I'm ready for this. Okay. I, I have actually had extra caffeine. Oh, good. To endure the reading, it, does that help? Let me preempt this. <laughs> Preemptive crickets. So you're like the uh, the neocon of uh, of crickets. That's that's wonderful. So this is from Soft Rep News. British press freak out. Inept media believes naval five inch guns are literally five inch guns. A British tabloid made an embarrassing error Friday, writing an hysterical piece that incorrectly reported the defense ministry had paid hundreds of millions of pounds, that's dollars to you and I, to buy a five-inch long gun. We just blew 183... Wait, I'm sorry. Let me backtrack there. We just blew 183 million quid on a five-inch gun, but it's a good value for taxpayers, read the outrage headline from The Daily Star. The subheadline also reinforced that the author believed the gun was literally five inches, calling it the length of a toothbrush. The only problem? Dimitri, what is the only problem with this story? The problem with the story is that these people are retarded. No, no, no. Let's not let's let's not oh, go there not, yet. Let's let, let's oh, go to I'm the sorry. technical I'm problem. S- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was judging them. Horribly. Let's 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 stick to the technical problem and then we'll judge them. Five inches is the caliber, not the length. It's it's the barrel width. Yeah. yeah. It, five inches is essentially a, a big cannon. Big baby. Big a baby boy. Very big cannon. That means that the big projectile leaving the barrel of that thing is five inches across. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. So I think that what this story shows is, from my perspective, why it's in this segment, is this this... This isn't unusual. As a matter of fact, when you listen to our segment, you heard a few examples of the media as well as politicians revealing the stupidity of their knowledge of guns. And these are the folks. These are the folks that are the leading edge. These are the. Go ahead, sorry. The enlightened. Who are even though you interrupted me, but that's cool. Now go ahead, interrupt me. I like it when you interrupt me. Payback. I never interrupt Sometimes people. Paul Hold on, I'll wait. refuses to stop talking. I want you to say if something. If you don't get your point in while he's talking, you you got to you when you know what when you're around me, you got to talk fast or our homies going to cut gonna, in. Are you going to cut in back? Are you going to interrupt me now? And when you're filled with unctuan, uh when you're an unctuous uh, speaker, you slow oily doesn't speaker. It, doesn't it also mean smug? Yes, it does. It actually, it, it, it does, and I think that's very fitting. So in, in that spirit, go ahead and continue with your interruption. Uh-oh, crickets. Uh-oh. <laughs> he fell down. Oh, no. He fell down. Oh, well, that's... these people are supposed to be the enlightened ones who are edumacating the rest of us on you know safety, and it just shows you how ignorant people are about the subjects that they believe so much about. They've been made so emotional about these subjects that – the first thing that sounds scary to them. It's a scary, scary thing. Oh, my God. It's a five-inch gun. You can hide that anywhere. It's so... You mean to tell me you got a ship with five-inch guns on it? That means that we can't find them easily when we want to confiscate your guns on that ship. That was, by the way, that was like my white Mike Tyson. That's what that was, by the way. You got that right. I think a white Mike Tyson would probably cover this story better than, than this guy just did. Now, I I I think I hear somebody else on the line. Doctor Defense. Doctor Defense. Oh, baby. So, Doctor Defense, are you with us, or am I just hearing things? Oh yeah. Oh yes, yeah, Doctor Defense. Welcome baby to the girl. show, Doctor. Baby girl. D D. Show you more than just five inches. Wow. I'm gonna show you my cannon. Oh, you got a cannon, Doctor Doctor oh, Defense. Yeah. And the how long five is your cannon? Gun. How long, how long is your five-inch cannon? Oh, it's big, baby. Is it it's longer than big. five inches? It's enough to... So what? How, how, how are you going to fix this problem? How are you going to intervene and, 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 and rescue this we individual to from their gun stupidity, their gun derp? Oh, we need to pay them a 
visits. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I, I want to know exactly what you're talking about. We're going to pay him a visit. What are you going to do? A, a meet and greet. Are you going to introduce them to a like a, an actual five inch cannon so they know what a five inch cannon is? Lordy. Because that'd be pretty deep. Well, no pun intended. <laughs> Paul, that, this is a family show. Is, is it? You know I didn't. Better. Did we decide on this being a family mm. show? I don't remember. Mm-hmm. We got the children's. Well, I told them to make sure the kids are in the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got it. Wait, did you just say, oh, yeah, when I... This is messed up, dude. Dude, should we dude, cut them off? We should. <laughs> dude, is... you're gone. You're gone. How to cut them off. I don't know. I know he doesn't really know what he's saying. And honestly, he really doesn't. This is how he speaks. If you ever, if you knew Dr. Defense, if you asked him, <laughs> hey, doctor, could you, uh, when you're going to the store, could you get me like a gallon of milk? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get your milk. And, you know, he, he doesn't, that's just who he is. It's, it's hard to explain. So where we're going with this story is that the bottom line is you have the quote unquote cultural gatekeepers who really have absolutely no understanding of what guns are. And they are going to impose their beliefs, their beliefs and their values. Ironically enough, they're going to impose them using, what are they going to use? Why are you holding up your finger? I'm pointing at you because I want, I'm, 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 I was going to give this to you. I was going to give you this honey line. They're going to impose their views using guns. Well, they can't see, use guns. Well, no, they're going to use they're guns. Use. Well, who, who, who's, who's, who's going to enforce the rules and the regulations that they, they want to enforce upon us? Is it going to be our goodwill and our little magic bunny feelings and our warm, warm heart love? Once guns are eliminated, they won't need to use guns to eliminate guns. Well, that's the problem. They actually need guns to eliminate guns. And then once they eliminate guns... no. If everyone just gave up their guns, you wouldn't need guns to get the guns out of the society with guns. How is that? I'm confused. I'm, I'm just, not. I'm, I'm not. following their logic. I don't. I'm, I don't oh, okay. So, 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 is your point that uh, these once they've convinced you? See, they are convinced that they can convince you that your p- position is flawed, and once you recognize how flawed your position is, you'll happily just. Take your thousand dollar investment and just give it to them to crush. Thousand dollar investment? Well, I'm being modest, dude. I don't call you Mister High Point for nothing. Come on, let's be honest. Thousand dollar <laughs> investment, my this dude never spent a thousand dollars on a gun. What's the what was that last High Point you got? Two hundred fifty bucks. The two fifty. He got that two fifty gun. Yo, got that two fifty gun. That Sky Nine Mill. It go bam, bam, bam Dude, every time. And, and the cool thing is that it took. It, it actually takes those clipazines. The, the kind thirty that, round clipazines. The, the for thirty thirty uh, thirty, thirty magazine thirty magazine clipazine oh, thirty magazine. It's clip. a thirty magazine clipazine that fires thirty magazines in a second. In a second. <laughs> It fires 30, well, I don't know if he said that, but still, 30 magazines in a second. That's a lot of magazines, fans. That is a lot of magazines coming at you. So these retards really believe that they're going to change the world and make everyone believe in peace, love, and understanding, and that even the cops aren't going to need weapons at that point. Well, I mean, they have friends that are helping them to to spread the joy, which I think it's going to reach a certain amount of people. It's just not going to reach enough. It's even even if sixty seventy percent of the people buy into the whole "if you see a gun, go fetal" argument, you're still going to have thirty percent that are going to be well armed and uh, well committed to not turn over their guns. And you've heard about now. I could have made this. The uh, and really, maybe I should have. I just remembered. I don't know why this should have been the story. This is about Apple. Have you heard about Apple and what they've done with their their magic avatars? What replacing the emojis? Emojis. It's an emoji. I'm sorry. So they replaced they replaced the gun with a squirt gun. There's there's no way the people in the top really really actually believe that somehow they're contributing to quote unquote gun violence. By allowing uh, an emoji that looks like a gun. This is a purposeful and deliberate attempt to further demonize and ostracize I think even the very mention of the word gun. I think it I think it also has to do with associating with a certain clique. For them it's like 
oh my god, yeah, no, we're part of you. I, yeah, we we kind of messed up. We'll 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 put a squirt gun there instead. You know, it could be that the people on top are really doing what I said, or it could be just what you said. They, oh, or maybe you didn't they say that. Be, they want to be part of that clique. Well, not not okay. Not it could be that too, and then there could be a third thing. What it, what thing no. was it that you think that I said that I may have not said, but said the, the third thing that I'm going to say now that I, I, I thought you it. said that you said, but you didn't say. I may have said it. You may have said it. I think I may have said it already. So just say it. The third thing is that they themselves are actually fully indoctrinated, and they really are afraid of guns themselves. And when they look at that gun, it's like. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What are we gonna do? Somebody might hurt me. I have to change this. So it could not. It maybe it's Paul, not. Paul, I want to encourage you to continue to speak in your natural voice like that. that you know, it, it comes off better. People really like it when I use this voice here better than my natural voice, oh. and because I love the people. And I'm a man of the people. I give them the voice that they want. They don't like that voice, you know. This, this actually, this is my natural voice right here. This is the voice that I why, talk with. Why naturally. are you talking about your voice? I'm just saying, dude. Finish your point of thought. So you want me to continue to be a fake and use this voice right here instead of my natural <laughs> voice? Your point. You don't let me think like this, 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 yeah, do you? So what are the three points? The three points are the one. On one, your head, they are intentionally one on my head. They're intentionally manipulating the culture, knowing exactly what they're doing. Two, they want to be part of the anti-gun club because those are their peeps. Or three, they're just so indoctrinated, it's it's not even a deliberate attempt at anything. There's it's a, it's a natural reflection of who they are. There's a fourth. Ooh, a fourth one. Yeah, you'll like this. All of the above. You know what? I I think I think number four is probably the winner here. Yeah. Do you, do you think people can hear? Do you think people can hear me? I think people can hear you, and I. I mean, really, we should have probably started with this story. And if I had thought about it, I'm the one who planned it out uh, the show this week. But still, a five inch gun. How can you resist that story? There's just so much. There's so much fun that that you can have there. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Full Auto across our network. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Full Auto Show. On Spreaker, you can find us at spreaker.com backslash show backslash Full Auto. We post our latest episodes on YouTube at youtube.com backslash C backslash State of Wake Show. And if you want to write to us, you can email us at show at fullautoshow.com. For all of the links and latest news on our show, go to our website at fullautoshow.com.